What's up, guys? Ashley here with Pyro Reptiles, and we are going to have another episode of What's in the Box. Uh, now, this is a snake that I had gotten from Miami Reptile Company uh, on one of their auctions. Um, as you can see, again, nice padded box. Um, the snake is padded in here with some paper to make sure that he does not have a bumpy ride. And also, it is very warm out today, so this is actually a great example of how you keep a snake cool during shipping. Um, we have these cryo packs here. Uh, you freeze them and they keep the snake nice and cold. I mean, now this isn't like freezing like something you would want to put in like a lunch pack, but it's enough to keep the snake cool so that the snake doesn't overheat because it's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit out today. All right, so we have our snake in a bag. Now this guy is a possible super hypo jungle arabesque head albino. All right, so what that means is he's got a lot of genetics going on. I will try to explain the genetics a little bit um, as soon as I get him out here. And here he is. And here is the little guy. Now he is also in shed. Apparently it's shed week for all the snakes that I'm getting and own. <laughs> All my personal snakes are pretty much in shed as well after nice big meals, but he is gorgeous. I can't wait to see his colors after he uh, after he sheds out. Now he is a hypo, which means hypomelanistic, which means essentially lack of black. As you can see, he has a very high red coloration, which is the hypo gene. Um, also, he is possible super hypo, which means that if he ends up proving out for super hypo. That means that he essentially has a double dose of the hypo gene, and even if I bred him to a normal female, I would get all hypo babies, plus whatever other genetics and mixes of those. Um, now he is also a jungle, which causes the aberrancies and the pattern, the stripes, all that kind of cool stuff. The jungle gene is a very cool gene. I personally love it. Um, now he also has arabesque in him. Now with the arabesques, it's kind of hard to see, but it gives him like a weird little face mask and head stamp, but the jungle kind of affects that. Um, you'll be able to see it a little bit better once he sheds. Um, it also causes a really cool funky back pattern. Now the hypo gene does change that pattern a little bit, um, but as you can see, he's got these weird hollow saddles and like these weird stripies, which is going to be a combination of the two um, pattern morphs interacting with each other, the arabesque and the jungle. Um, now he is also heterozygous or het for albino, which means that if I breed him to another animal that is either het albino, meaning they carry the gene for albino or a visual albino, I will get albinos. I will get sun glows, which is a hypo albino visual. Um, so a lot of cool stuff that I can do with this little guy. Not sure what I'm going to use him for in a breeding project yet, but we will see. Um, I do have a normal that I could breed him to and just get some really cool, like, single and double, even triple gene morphs um, from the two of them. I do not know if she's had albino, so I'm not sure if there would be albinos in that clut or litter. Sorry. I do ball pythons and uh, retics as well, so clutch, litter. Litter is live birth, clutch is eggs. But I just wanted to show you guys this little awesome dude. Uh, only had the one box come in today, so just the one little unboxing. But as you can see, he is gorgeous. I can't wait until he sheds out and just shows his color. I'll have to come through and do uh, another video with all of these guys once they shed out the leopards and everything that I did in yesterday's video, because they are going to be gorgeous. So I cannot wait. But again, I got this guy uh, on one of the online auctions, bsrauctions.com. Uh, they have a lot of nice stuff that they auction off. Uh, check them out if you're interested in getting something for a pretty good deal. And again, I will update these guys as they shed. I'll make a video again once everybody sheds out just to show off all the little boas that I have. And I'll probably do one on the retics too. That's just a little bit harder at a desk. Uh, I might have to pull out the GoPro and do that and uh, get some assistance from Alex because... Uh, Three ticks aren't small <laughs> like this. I've got a couple that are younger, but three ticks are not going to be able to just be handled like this in front of the in front of the webcam. 
So we'll have to figure out a way to make a nice video with the retakes as well. Might take them outside for some natural sunlight and coloration. But all right, guys, just wanted to show off this little guy. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.